What's going on everybody? Trap the Dev here back. We're playing more Madden. Last time out, Jamarcus Russell did it again. Another two minute drive to take us to victory against the Indianapolis Colts. This week, week 16, we've got the Jaguars in the game of the week. Take a quick look at the matchup. We're, you know, roughly even. Uh, looks like they don't have a very good offense, all things considered, but they're playing really well on defense. Third ranked team in the league in terms of points. And they got a pretty good turnover differential. Take a quick look at their team here. Find the, the Jaguars. You see David Gerard or Byron Leftwich. Looks like Gerard is starting. Uh, you got MJD and Fred Taylor. Like Maurice Jones drew. Kind of an undersized running back, but he had some good years. Greg Jones, a good fullback. Troy Brown. I didn't realize he was still playing back in the day. You know, nothing special at receiver, but, you know, they're not very bad. <laughs> Matt Jones. Uh, same thing at tight ends. Hey, you got Mercedes Lewis still kicking it in the NFL for the Packers. Uh, pretty good line, all things considered. Their tackles are their weak spot, but neither of them are very bad. Paul Spicer, yeah, good, uh, good up the middle with Marcus Stroud and John Henderson. Going to be tough running against them, and we got to watch out for pressure. Uh, Daryl Smith is hurt. That's good. He's got 14 sacks in the air. That's that's quite a bit. Mike Peterson. Um, let's see. Pat Thomas. I don't remember too many of these names. Rashawn Mathis. I remember him. He, he's pretty good for quite a number of years. Reggie Nelson. Yeah, they got a they got a pretty good defense. So it's gonna be tough sledding uh, on defense for us. We'll see if we can't get it done. Again, I'm sticking. I still like this this offensive playbook. Maybe if uh, next game, let's go with the Silvers. How about maybe next game if we've clinched the number one spot, we can think about doing I don't know a, a different playbook or something. But that remains to be seen. A great matchup of two teams. A great atmosphere. It's time oh, for the four. four. This is it. The season nearly over. It's been a great year. With but they sound way too high. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit weird for a second, so just bear with me. See my desktop in the background? <laughs> it's all good. <clears throat> Nothing important on the back. It's a tough game, you know. Early... On the East Coast, we're a West Coast team. Generally, a team start kind of slow whenever they're playing in this situation. Quite a bit of win for Jacksonville. I'm going to see wings these high. And let's see what happens now as we're ready for the kickoff. Janikowski is back and ready to put this blue. really got the wind in our face here in uh, the first quarter. So i gotta got to keep track of that. I also forgot to, to update my depth chart, so we'll do that while we're on the fly here. Recording this a little bit later, uh, kind of forgot to, <laughs> too, if I'm being honest. Keep Rhodes in there. We'll see how he, he does as the game progresses, and then, uh, you know, if he does good, you know, we'll, we'll get, uh, I want Mike Williams. We will get Michael Bush some playing time. I don't think there's anybody else that I need. Just starters, except for the worst, okay, so. Looks like cornerback number 35 is hurt, so that's not good. Move Stanford Brown to the slot for this game. Where's Starks now? No, he's messed up. Uh, yeah, we'll use we'll Starks for this game, and then have Washington as our as our dime, and then our other guys are uh, quarter. Give me Randall Williams as my. There we go. Okay, I, I promise I will I will remember to do that before I play the next game. I'll put a reminder on the phone. Well, John, both of these teams appear to be very evenly matched, and it has the makings of a game that might not be decided until late in the fourth quarter. This is a type of game that I really look forward to. You've got two great teams out there with a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. This one might not be decided until the very last drive. Starting off to toss the Maurice Jones, Maurice Jones Drew. One of my favorite players back in the day. I really enjoyed watching him play. You know, those undersized backs. They're always a little fun to watch. You know, shifty 
Uh, though he did run with good power, you know. I mean, 5'6", 200 pounds, you know. Not a great play by Osmar, though. The Raiders with a four-man front. Almost certainly passing now. <laughs> uh, There's my guy. I thought he stayed in the block. He must have released. So that's a that's a blown coverage by me. Got to take, got to take yell on that one. I was I saw him staying in the block at first. Uh, I did not anticipate that he would release. So it was a. Bone, bone coverage. Can't be doing that, especially once we get to the playoffs. We gotta make sure that we are staying rock solid in our coverage coverages. Sending in a blitz here. Trying to get some pressure on them. And they play action, and it's a fumble. Burgess strip sack, and he's going up the field. Got one man to beat. Jones Drews closing in on him. And he gets pulled down from behind at around the 10. Huge play by Derek Burgess here on the opening defensive sequence. Just couldn't quite get to the end zone. Maurice Jones drew just too fast. But now we're really set up. See the interior alignment making some plays. There goes some play action uh, a lot in this game. Try to get their alignment off kilter. And they're playing on the back foot rather than the front foot. Porter wide open, sit down, touchdown, Joey Porter, Jamarcus Russell, nice find. They were playing zone, he uh, ran a good route, didn't look like they had anybody on the flat, I think the corner was playing either a deep or a, a medium or a, a buzz zone, I don't really know, but point being he was not playing the flat and we took advantage, so you know, as has been the case this year, our defense makes a big play, gets Gets a turnover, sets us up real nicely, and we take the lead early on in Jacksonville. They begin in the red zone and wind up punching it in for a touchdown. It's a must to score touchdowns when you get field position like that. Everyone's doing well out there, recording this on Monday night, watching a little bit of football. Saw the Washington football team upset Steelers earlier tonight. Ooh, big contact there. And watching the Bills in San Francisco. Bills are playing really well. So a couple good drives by San Francisco just can capitalize. I believe they get the ball back and scored on a turnover. But I like the Bills this year. I think uh, they might be the best or second best team in the AFC, to be honest. Let's play by Jardel Sands. Hey, way to go, MJD. Thousand rushing yards. Props to you, man. Toss play, get out there. Way to go, Williams. Been a run stopping machine this year. Yeah, it hadn't been the greatest like pass coverage or anything, but or even blitzing. He's got to, he's got home a few times, but you know that's what we got the other of ten guys on defense for. Oh, and another turnover. Kirk Morrison sat down right in front of his man. Bad decision by David Gerard for sure. Just threw it right to his hands. And you know what? He held on. I'm not going to complain. We are set up near the red zone once more. Try to get out to this uh, this huge lead in, early on in the in the game. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Second and six. I want to see if we can play up because, you know, they do have a good rushing attack with Greg Jones and Maurice Jones Drew back there. The passing offense is not the best. No real standouts. They got pressure. Threw it off the back foot. I was feeling the heat from the outside. Funky jams down here in Jacksonville. <laughs> yeah, we got the cinematic camera. You gotta love it. Mm, looking for Williams on the deep post. Looks, I think they're probably gonna play his own. Send Bush out on an out as well. Maybe Curry will sit down. DD will, and ooh, just couldn't hold on. Right throw, you know, he just couldn't hang on to the ball. You know, we'll, we'll take the points on the field goal. I don't anticipate Janikowski missing the 40-yarder unless they get a block or something like that. 
course, the wind is really howling right now. Eh, no problems. Up and good. Easy peasy. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. That is 10 points off turnovers in the first quarter. Uh, I'll take that every time down. From the four yard line. Oh. Hey, nice tackle by Michael Huff, apparently. <laughs> User tackles are not always correct in this game. It's kind of funny. Reward Williams, he made a big play earlier in the run game. We'll send him on a blitz, see if he can't get something else. It's pressure. Maybe fourth another turnover. Three first quarter turnovers. That's a draw play. And Schweiger coming up from the second level, I think. Yes. Hey, I already said that, Al Michaels. <clears throat> That's okay. That's cover one. Oh, boy. Get big, Thomas Howard. Way to go. Stood up his man like it was nothing. As soon as he got the ball, there was a defender in his face to knock him down. The Jaguars line up in trips bunch. Oh, almost another interception. It was almost like by Thomas Howard. Played well on this defense for sure. So assuming we do clinch here, um, we got one more regular season game which would go live on Thursday. And I'm not sure what I'll do for the playoffs yet. Obviously, I'd love to make it to the Super Bowl. Um, Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Just uh, give you guys an idea of scheduling. I think the first round of the playoffs will go up. Might do it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again, if I get the first round by, I'll have... And I ended up going to the Super Bowl, which, you know, that's going to be tough. I've had a lot of close games... Recently, we've just been winning them. Um, I might consider doing a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. I don't really know. I don't know if I want to <laughs> compete with the NFL. So I'd love to do a live premiere. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, we got to get there first, obviously. Maybe I'll do like a, an extra, extra week or an, uh, an extra game this week. Who knows? Should be an option. So I'd love for the Super Bowl to go live on Saturday, assuming, you know, I, I am speaking, you know. Oh, man. Look at all this open space for Schmerz. We're just going to get out of bounds here. I am speaking like I'm going to make it, which obviously is no guarantee. But it would be fun to uh, have, you know, some people some people here for the live premiere. I'll be in chat as well on the YouTube. Okay, we got to stop talking like I'm going to get there. It's not a foregone conclusion. Come on, Justin Griffith. He didn't hit the hole with much conviction on that one. I mean, I don't really know if it was him. I think that was more Griffith missing his block. I've been happy with Griffith. He has been a little lackadaisical lately in the run blocking game. Still, he was very good in the early season. I, I know I did change some sliders, so maybe that's kind of the result of that. Road sitting down, right in the middle, you know. Easy five yard toss for Russell Day. Russell's played incredibly well over the past few weeks. He's, uh, he's really been the highlight of our team. Coming on towards the back half of the season for certain. Uh, probably going to cover zero. I would imagine they have one in the linebacker sinking, so we might have Higgins out of the slot over the top. We do not. Bush come back. Bush go up. I tried to throw the ball. I probably should have just thrown that one away. I didn't really have anybody pulled out the wrong way, so they're probably going to get pretty good field position because, again, we got, ooh, man, 15 miles an hour in our face on the punt. <laughs> Yeah, at least they're tight to the line. I don't think they're going to come for the block. Maybe they're not. So we should get, you know, so they're going to be, I don't know, 45 or so yards. Under the conditions, a good punt. <clears throat> we got trips wide left. Come up, place a press. Huff! Ooh, knocks it down. Yeah, threw a duck on that one. Should have, should have hauled that one in, I think. But he didn't, you know. At least we knocked it down. 
Now they got second and ten. Kind of takes the run game away a little bit. Counterplay. Counter play. Huff get out to the edge. You know, Tyler Brayton coming up big in run balance. defense. Holding the third and five. Three tight ends in. Big interesting call for them. I imagine they're going to want to go play action here. Uh, I got an electrical linebacker blitzing and then the weak side pulled down to the line of scrimmage with Williams. And they go to the pass. And Asama could not make the play. Not a great throw. Could have stuck his, pit, uh, his, uh, his hand up there. Didn't. Um, I got the first down. It's going to happen over the season. You know, you're not going to be able to knock down every ball that gets thrown over to you. <clears throat> Drop play. Uh, looks like it's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. So we're up big. Thanks to our defense once again. Opening up in three wide to begin the second quarter. Probably a smart move on their part. They're not really done. I mean, you know, they've had a couple of decent runs, but they're not breaking off anything big. Come on, get over there. Yeah. It's a good route. I sense pressure in off the right side here with Thomas Howard, I think. And we're also blitzing Williams up the middle. Can't imagine they're going to abandon the run just quite yet. Hey, a nice play by Schweiger coming up in rush defense. Three yard. Okay, keep an eye on the ticker down to the bottom see what the Patriots game is. Oh, come on, Schweiger. Or, uh, that's my, that's a guy. Can't call it Washington because, you know, he went to make that play either. Starts. I'd love if he was a man. I would love him to, you know, kind of bracket that guy right there. It didn't happen. I don't think there's any really way to set it. Maybe I could have highlighted it as well. I, I did do that quite a bit last game, and it seemed to work out okay. Obviously, you're playing the Colts, and they had Reggie Wayne and Marvin Harrison, so <laughs> a bit of a tougher assignment than uh, Matt Jones and uh, Troy Brown. Oh, what a hit. Michael Huff. There's a zero blitz here. Guess and run. Bring up Huff into the box. Indeed, they are running, and we get to the quarterback before you can hand it off. Right play call for sure. Say that much. Don't hold them to a field goal. I mean, they do have the wind in their face, but uh, it's 40 yards. They should be able to make this, no problem. <laughs> it was drifting a bit. It was drifting a bit, but they got it. Good, good play by the defense. They had good field position again. Tough to get any distance on our punts when we're punting into a 50 mile an hour wind. So. Oh, Higgins going to the outside. He's going to get to the 40. Another nice return. About 30 yards. Like some single back. Have two tight ends. It might be a nickel or maybe just an over concept. Oh, come on. Gallery got to hold the block on the edge. Really need to improve our offensive line. We've been able to make some plays, you know, with our speed, with Russell this year, but uh, we've got to improve protection and run blocking, especially if we're going to, you know, win. Oh, nice. Sleep on Zach Miller. Uh, you know, you can see it in these last few games, definitely the tougher stretch of our season, and we have not been able to run like we did early in the year when we were facing a little bit lesser teams. So, teams with the better rush defense, you know, we gotta we got to improve our run blocking on the outside, especially to the right, which is where I like to run anyways. Come on, Rhodes. Uh, I think I'm going to go for it here. I'm on the 50, or basically at midfield. Come on, slants. Could, could punt it and maybe get him, but 
uh, you know, I like to be an aggressive coach, and I think this is the right opportunity. Curry. Oh, nice grab on the rollout by Russell. He'll go with a hurry up after we pick up that first down. Hope they demoralize him. Don't want slants, though. Although there looks like they might be sending a blitz. Kind of tough to tell. Yeah, they're definitely sending a blitz. Higgins should probably be open on this play. He was not, but he still holds it in. What a grab. And it's going to be defensive pass interference. Higgins has been my safety route this year. He's, uh, he's really proved himself. Don't know if I'd stick him at the number one or number two yet. I do like him in a slot. I think, you know, I, I like coming out in three wide sets quite, a, quite, a, quite often. Check down to a run and vacate in the middle of the linebackers. Two or three yards. But I would love a uh, better one and two uh, receivers that could really improve Higgins' game by freeing him up for some, you know, more down the field. Even crossing routes with our outside guys going to have to do more. Yeah, that could work. We'll see who's a uh, oh nice broken tackle by Rich. We'll see who's a free agent after the end of the year. An out route from the slot here, I think. Don't do strong over but maybe the corner works as well. I just like uh, Higgins running to the corner here, or if they're sitting in man, Miller will probably open. Safety coming up. They brought the blitz, mistake, but Miller couldn't turn up field. Probably should have hit Porter, but I was hoping that it was going to be a better throw. Yeah. They also went zero on the blitz. It worked out for them because uh, he turned the wrong way. It happens, it happens. We all saw what Allen Robinson did on Sunday. Same kind of thing. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. We have to win with this. We're going to do more of a pop-up kick here. Should have gone uh, a little deeper. I was thinking the wind was going to carry it a touch farther. So we've got to, we got to you know, not go quite as high on uh, future ones if we do that. Stick with man coverage here. It's been working out very well the past few games. Especially since we've taken Washington off the field. Although he is in the slot here, I think. Might be him. It's not the carry. Hey, got some pressure. Kind of tough to tell what happened right there. I'm not really sure, to be honest. So who is my slot corner? I'm a Stanford route. Sorry. Very good. It's not Fabian Washington. <laughs> I'm surprised they ran it. And a forced fumble by Michael Huff on a huge hit. That's a big time hit from a big time player. It's three turnovers already today. Raider defense taking the ball away as they have done so well this year. It's the biggest reason, probably, why we are in prime playoff position. So they send a blitz, Williams, on the break. Oh, he beat his man. That's a touchdown, Mike Williams. Heck of a route there. Russell able to fit it in, and we got the touchdown. And we are about to go up by 14 points. Let's see here on the break if they show it. Yeah, our uh, corner, you know, is probably maybe the right time to guess on there. But Russell, of course, he's got a cannon, was able to fit it in like no other quarterback, you know, or very few quarterbacks in the league can do. Heck of a throw. Heck of a throw. <laughs> that means we've got 17 of our 20 points via turnovers. Not a great kick again. Oh, I'm terrible. Trying to get him like two or three yards deep. The Jaguars have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. No surprise coming out and some passing. They, you know, they're really desperate for points, I think, before the end of the half. Oh, Washington almost, or not Washington, excuse me, Asimov. Almost made a big play. Nice cover three. Change it up, change it up a tad. 
in a dime package. They'll pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. Number 32. You know what, Washington? You made an okay play there, so props to you. I would have loved to see you knock it down, you know, because that was almost also a completion. Was not. The roar will work out of the shotgun. Going for the deep man. Going over the top, Washington almost picks another one off. First, just go quarter. I'm just going to go with simple man coverage here. Don't want to play a soft zone. Let him get something underneath and, you know, get the first down, I don't think. The Jaguars line up. Called a screen pass, it looked like. And that was obviously not going to work when we had man coverage on. So we got a chance for even more points here before the end of the first half. So their punter is a pro bowler, huh? Reminds me, I got to check pro bowlers. We'll, we'll take a look uh, here before the last game of the season. Oh, fair catch. Don't want to return this one. I got coverage unit down. Ball on their own 26. Ball on the 26 yard line. Here we go. Hey, watch the ball. Let's see, they got man coverage on. Probably one safety over the top. Uh, excuse me, I don't know what happened. I did not roll out, I promise. He, uh, he just took off by himself. That's a rookie quarterback. What can you expect? Looking for Higgins on a break. I think he would have been open. Here he probably will be as well. <clears throat> for the play just They're in zone break up field roads Miller open not the I hoping he was just going to stay on the outside and run towards the sideline get out of bounds he didn't he didn't that's okay the hurry up might be a little bit dangerous here but I think they have three tight end, uh, three linebackers I'm going to keep them in this personnel they're bringing pressure off the edge Rhodes going wide open. Oh, and he drops the most catchable ball you'll ever see in an NFL game. Can't drop that one there. Rhodes, come on now. He was wide open to break down field. And, you know, who knows? Maybe he breaks into the end zone there. I don't know. Boom and punt by Leckler. And it goes out of the end zone for a touchback. That's okay. Flips the field pretty much. Yeah, I mean, they still have two minutes and three timeouts, so it's not a guarantee that they're going to just run the ball, be conservative, going to halftime, but they'll probably try a pass here or there. And of course, we could always get the ball back as well. David Gerard, <laughs> another crunching hit by Michael Huff. I have to learn not to do that. Because he is waiting for you in the second level. He can launch. It might be a penalty in today's NFL. Don't tell anybody. Troy Brown getting open underneath. Sorry, I guess I'm going to recall that underneath. But on the comeback, deep comeback. Might have been P.I. They're not going to call that one, I don't think. Uh, it looks like they're going more crossing routes and stuff. I'm going to sit in the zone instead. Because I've also had some comeback routes, and if there's nobody running out to the flats, then our corners can sink a little deeper, take away the deep comeback, potentially. Call it a draw. Sean Sapp gets there. Yeah, we, we're just in here. I think that's probably what we got to do. Try not to spike. It's obviously a fake. Gerard going up. <laughs> Another big hit by Michael Huff. That's like four or five this game. Of course, we're going for the block. We haven't had any blocks all year, but we got to go for it here, baby. Call timeout and get the ball back. Got a minute and a half to work with. Ooh, almost got there. Penalty? Now cheering. No, no penalty. I'm surprised. I thought the cheering would have indicated that they would have had a roughing the kicker. No dice, luckily for us. So they're in nickel. Um, again, Curry is the hot route here. He's wide open. Ooh, cornerback sank a little farther on the throw. So I guess not wide open, but he was probably open if he could have arced that ball a little higher. Didn't want to float it in there and try to bullet it so he could get to the outside, get and lead him outside the numbers there. 
I'm guessing they have a corner blitz with their slot guy. He's creeping up, so I want Rhodes to block. Indeed they are. Higgins wide open on the crosser. He's got nothing but space. We're just going to have out of bounds. No reason to take a hit. Again, they're in nickel. They're probably in the zone here. So we got a lot of people flooding the weak side. And Williams on the crosser. So I think, I'm thinking either Higgins or Miller open uh, to the outside. Or Williams is going to get wide open, just run behind the defense, find a soft spot. Breaks the tackle, stays in bounds, he's down to about 20. He's our second time out. Another big play by Mike Williams. Get him showing why I am so confident in him as our second receiver, even if his attributes are not the best. <clears throat> and they're in their base package. Zone, toss it away, I can. No intentional grounding, luckily, for us. With the double circles from our running back and fullback. They really love their base personnel, don't they? <laughs> I did not even see that guy, if I'm being honest. Rolled out way too soon. Again, that's one of the, one of the foibles that I have, you know, I know that's my tendency and sometimes I get a little bit roll out happy whenever they have pressure on because I don't really trust my offensive line. Um, looking for Miller open on the sideline. Maybe he is, kind of. And he hauls in another one. And that's going to be first down. Showing why he has been, may, I don't know, our number two receiver this year. In terms of my confidence in guys, it's really, you know, him, Higgins, and, and Williams. The big three. And he goes into the end zone for a touchdown. And nobody on him. I think they were in zone coverage. And he had a free release off the line. Hit him real quick. He was running the end, but, you know, we just hit him on the quick get off. And that's a walk in, baby. 27 3. Probably going into halftime. Boo! That's about where I'm looking. Maybe a few yards deeper. This one is fielded by number 32. <laughs> Takes another big hit. It's gotta. It's gotta go down, man. It's like they're just gonna be content to go into halftime in a big hole. I'm also okay with that. Could, uh, could like go for a strip or a call timeout or something. But nah, there's no reason. We'll be more than content to go in halftime. More than three scores ahead. I guess technically three scores because can get 24 points with three touchdowns, three two point conversions. But you'd say is, uh, you know, I'm more than three scores up. That's a laugh or so far. Take a look at some of the game statistics. Uh, again, really, it's really just turnovers this game. Uh, you know, we haven't ran very well, to be expected, given their defense, but we're throwing the ball pretty much all over the, all over the place. Um, they have not really had great coverages. We've found open guys. They've taken a couple chances, and they have not panned out. But again, it's really the turnovers for us. Russell playing probably the best game of the season so far. I mean, three touchdowns in the first half, 12 for 18, including a throwaway, so really more like 12, 12 and 17. 12 4 17, excuse me. Uh, we're playing good pass defense. Nobody's really running the ball very well. I think I'm going to go to Bush in the second half. Maybe Rhodes is wearing down a little bit towards the end of the season. I, I don't really know if that's a thing in this game, but that's kind of what it feels like. So maybe we'll get Bush in here for, for the rest of the game and maybe in week 17 and kind of rest up Rhodes for the playoffs. Yeah, Zach Miller, best receiver in the game so far. Him or Mike Williams. I see three big hits, Pro Bowler, for sure this year. A couple sacks on each side. Again, Morrison with the interception. Threw it right to him. And I think we have two forced fumbles. Yes, Derek Burgess and Michael Huff. Of course, Burgess with the strip sack and almost, almost ran it in. Just could not get there. So, 
unfortunately he can't do that from the halftime. So I'm going to put in, I think, Bush as the number one back for the remainder of the game. Uh, you know, I'll get Rhodes in it, some runs as well. But I want to see if a bigger back, you know, can maybe be maybe, maybe, and maybe do something a little bit better here uh, in the second half because we do want to run the ball quite a bit, you know, just run out the clock at this point. Higgins, another big return. Great blocking to the outside. Kind of 30-plus yard return, I think. All of those things come into play now as they try to put this game away. The Jaguars are starting to run away with this one. They really haven't. <laughs> I think you misspoke there, Al Michaels. I'm pretty sure you just said the Jaguars ran away with this one. Uh, we really haven't had the opportunity to get into rhythm on the ground, though. It's kind of tough. I'm not going to complain when we're starting every drive down in like their half of the field, but still. Williams on another break. <laughs> He's just that good. What a grab. He's been my guy. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind just sticking him in as a number two next season as well. Depending on who we can get. I haven't really been impressed with Porter. Bush breaks up the middle. Nice run. 12 yards. Strong look. With a misdirection to the right here. And they weren't in position to tackle Yeah, they got their linebackers and the under look, I think is what this is called. I should know. I've called plays enough. Oh, bus bus one guy, but uh, couldn't break the second guy. He saw where he wanted to go with it, and before he knew it, still, you know, he got back to the line, broke a tackle, maybe demoralizing their linebacker a little bit. <laughs> Again, they're kind of calling strange. They are in the base package. Looks like a blitz up the middle with her right outside linebacker. We keep bushing the block. Look for Higgins over the middle, and yeah, they stunted a little bit. Got a linebacker running on him. Not the best throw, but. Luckily, he was able to haul it in. Should have uh, should have let him a little bit more. Because Higgins can outrun any linebacker in the league, I think. Speedy guy. Ideal slot receiver, in my mind, it was. Oh, Bush. Another nice game. Looks like he's rewarding us for putting him in. Go to him one more time. See, you know, I feel like that player Rhodes might have been stopped in the backfield, but you know, Bush gets maybe a yard, a yard and a half. Tough to tell exactly, but you know. Let's see what the line. They're not shifting. I think I want to run the ball. I think we're gonna have enough of a running start. I think we're gonna pick up this first down on the ground. DBR, easy run. You know, almost 10 yards. But Rose in here for a play. Bush wearing him down on this drive. Taking off almost half the quarter. Of course, we are playing 10 minute quarters, but still. Shift us to the other side. They're going to audible back. They're bringing the linebackers in. That tells me they're blitzing. Uh, Miller on this, this little post corner. Eh, Rose wide, wide open. Catches it. Going to the corner, he's got it. Touchdown, Dominic Rhodes makes up for that drop in the first half. He's going to spin around on the catch. He's going to win that race to the corner every single time. And this one is what you would call a laugher. On the road, early, proven why we are the best team in the AFC, I think. I think we deserve to be called that. Uh, after the stretch we've had against, you know, just the really good teams following our bye. You know, you know we lost to, the, lost to the Packers, beat the Colts, beat the uh, Bears. Uh, we're obviously going to win this game. I think there's really no question at this point. So, yeah, uh, I am confident right now, I will tell you that much. But still got work to do, baby. And even when they're running the ball, uh, when I'm playing pass, they can't do nothing. And against our defense, has it to say, we're the best defense in the league. <laughs> Maybe not, but playing like the Bears defense in uh, 2018. A bunch of turnovers. I mean, we got good talent for sure, but maybe not the best talent, but uh, forcing turnovers is our mantra. 
Cross it route. Almost came up with it. David Garrard is not playing well in our corners, safeties, linebackers are shutting everything down. Oh, and way to go, Burgess. Breaks the tackle, breaks the block, rather, and hey, that's another sack. That collapsed the pocket, shift in, hit the quarterback. I had, I had him on with Huff. I don't think he would have got the first down, but I always love when my linemen can, uh, you know, play that play that play as well. Makes me more confident that I can sink a little further back into coverage when the D-line is playing as well as they are. Gonna call it fair catch, short punt because of the because of the wind. <laughs> Seems like Al and John might have gone away. Try to get these guys back here. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. I just didn't hear it for a while. Nice little rollout. Joey Porter, nine and a half yards. <clears throat> Getting into rhythm before we step into the playoffs in the passing game. It's what we got to do. It's a good route. He, he's, uh, he's pretty good on those, I, I find. This little seven-yard scamper. Al says five. I say seven. I think the game might have been six. <laughs> we'll call it six. Bush definitely, definitely playing a lot better than I would say uh, Rhodes has the past few games. So you never know. We'll, uh, you know, we have been splitting well. Oh my goodness, Michael Bush. What a run. Four yards. Shakes off two guys like they're nothing. Sunday are crashing their linebacker down. Not necessarily blitzing, but this should mean Bush is going to be wide open and flat. Nope, he's not. Miller getting open. Easy peasy. Nice rhythm throw. Everybody vacated the middle. Our, uh, left that side linebacker ran with Bush in the flat and can't cover the crossing route or the you know, short, short little one like that when you're in the zone. Too many holes. Good play by the line. He likes to run in behind his blockers and then make a cut off their hip for a big game. But that strategy didn't work here. Two minutes left in the quarter. Once again in base package means they have a linebacker on Higgins. I'm guessing he's going to take the linebacker and the deep safety. So Porter should be open, if not Miller. Yeah, Miller is wide open. And they even have an offside. Yeah, we'll go ahead and accept that. Absolutely dominating. Um, making good pre-snap reads, I should say. Recognizing zone when there's zone, recognizing man when there's man. And here, looks like they're probably blitzing again. They did shift their linebackers over, so I'm guessing there's going to be a stunt on the interior. We're going to play action. I think just going with a quick pass. And I said it's probably the correct option, but I was hoping to uh, catch him out. Attack the running back. The guy's just recognized. <clears throat> You'd be correct there, John. Curry to the outside. Oh, what a dime by Jamarcus Russell. There's Curry. You don't see him very often. Don't hear his number called that much this year. Might even be his first catch on the season. But I know he's a big guy. I think he's like 6'4". They had their dime corner who looked like he's about 5'8". Just over the top. It's a nice throw by Russell. First down. I love those corner routes. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter. Yeah, and just gotta just gotta run this one out, I think. Not necessarily run it up, but hey, you know, if maybe we can uh, get another touchdown pass or two for Russell here, pad his stats, and maybe get him either either even more into the offensive rookie of the year. Um, 
I have to get toss this one away. I didn't see anybody open. He didn't want to risk an interception. Probably rolled out a touch too early as well. Yeah, it's a four wide stack. I like this formation. It's a fun formation. Go to slot crossers. I'd be surprised if they're in a, in a zone coverage. They're probably in a man, which means Curry has the underneath and the Higgins both on the drags. Um, those are man beaters for sure. Uh, looks like they're in a the zone. Curry gets bumped. And hey, another nice grab by Curry. Getting contributions out of everybody this game. Nobody's staying on the sideline. Heck, even Washington made a play, you know? We shouted his name out. <laughs> and that's not something we've done all that much this year. We've had a couple picks and stuff, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, looking for Miller on the on the flash. Wide open. Ooh, just could not hold on to it. Fortunately, I don't have a quarterback, like a fake run quarterback jet sweep or something like that. Would love to call that here. Russell's got the legs to do it. I'm just going to try to run this ball, though. And touchdown, Michael Bush. Gives them a lot more breathing room here in the fourth. <laughs> Let's see how the Jags fans leave him. I'm surprised they stuck around this long, to be honest with you. So, easily the most dominant performance we've had all season. Great time to do it two weeks before the start of the playoffs, for us anyway, because you know, we are guaranteed to buy, I think. Um, and I think we'll also have the home field. I mean, yeah, we're not going to lose this game, so this does clinch us home field advantage uh, throughout the playoffs. So what a time. Probably pull my starters at halftime next game. I'm not a huge believer in that, but I you know I don't want to have any injuries or anything like that. So it's probably something we can do, at least on offense, you know, Russell or you can get uh, Lamont and Jordan in for some plays, maybe get some backup linemen that haven't had too many snaps this year, see what they can do. <clears throat> A huge pop by Huff, showing why he is a pro bowler. Oh, come on. <laughs> Morrison, I know he's the best pass defender, but come up to the ball. You don't know, just sit back there. That is what it is. I'd rather just play a little deeper and, and let them get the, the short stuff over the middle. Waste some time. Man, Seth got off. Almost got him. Come on. Cornerbacks. Well, hoping we can hold him without a touchdown. I mean, I'm not too upset, though. So, good on them. They got a touchdown. Moral victory for him. <laughs> it's going to worsen our rush defense numbers towards the end of the year, though. Scobie comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. The Jaguars still down by a bunch. Jacksonville is lined up for the kickoff. Higgins booming kick downfield. Not returning this much because swing for a touchback. He got all of it. The Raiders will start to drive from the 20 yard line. Well, we'll see if uh, you know Dominic Rhodes can't get a few more yards this uh this half. They're pinching. I like the pinch whenever we're doing a counter or a misdirection. Yeah, you see it there. Just get to the outside. No problems. And they've had some interesting play calls. We've been in three wide sets. They've come out in base. We've been in... I guess we're on three wide set. I guess they... Not the best rush. You know, maybe a yard and a half. Stick here with the draw. There and nickel as well. See if we can't get a quick out to Curry. They're playing zone. I think they are. So Bush is wide open. Curry was open as well. But. Oh, come on, Bush. Hey, Curry. Wait a minute. <laughs> didn't make a play. That has been Bush's... Uh, you know, that, you know, he, he has fumbled a few balls this this year. I don't think any of our, I don't think they've burned us. I mean, nothing really has. We only dropped the one game in Green Bay. And try to bounce it outside a little bit too quickly as I tend to do. Again, like, I mean, you know, you're not wrong there, John, but 
tough to get established in a rhythm uh, with your run game when you're starting every drive on the opponent's 40, <laughs> it seems. Come on, Griffith, you gotta get out there a little quicker. I love these corner routes. I'm almost positive that Williams is gonna be open on this. He runs this route really, really well, it seems. Well, they're in zone, however. Tossing it to him anyway. There we go. What did I say? Quarterback sunk too deep. Williams just too big. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely someone we gotta we gotta stick with as our at least number two receiver. <laughs> Could even move him up to the number one. Probably not. But this little play here, seven yards. Ball on the 26 yard line. Ball on the 26 Just keeping it simple now. Man, they got the linebacker right in that gap. So when you don't give it to him, you shift it to the other side. Pick up a yard or two. Just when you go play action. <laughs> Probably should just run the ball. Yeah, they shifted their line. I like the look. I think Griffith's going to be wide open in the flat. He is. Could not give it to him. Pressure got there just a little bit too quickly. That's okay. Take more points. And bring this up to 44. Assuming he doesn't miss it, which he will not. That's right down the middle. Is the Raiders Good. continue to increase their lead? Oakland is lined up with a kickoff. Number 32 back to return. That's nice a little boot by Jankowski. It's probably the, the quietest crowd has been in any games we've played this year. No surprise, of course. You know, we've absolutely been dominated them since uh, since the word go. We've, uh, we've been the superior team. They really haven't shown anything that would uh, lead you to believe that they had any shot at winning this game. They've been poor in pretty much all facets, except for that last run, I guess. So one nice play. <laughs> forced a turnover, haven't really forced any pressure. Almost picked off a huff. Haven't really got anything in the run game, pass game, even special teams that haven't been, you know, fantastic. They've had big, big returns by Higgins. The defense lines up in the nickel. Hey, there you go, Tyler Brayton. That's that. Him, more pressure in his face in about half a second. Here come the Boo Birds. Those are better left, anyways. Gardaki comes into the game for the punt. Higgins. Can you say that Gardaki? Give us a Gardaki. Gardaki. Higgins get there. Oh, what a the what a grab on the punt. He's gonna go out of bounds. No reason to risk getting a, a big hit here. Time, and he you know what? It's time to break out Lamont Jordan for the back half of this game. Technically our best runner. We're also gonna put in uh, put in Josh McCown here for a little bit. No reason to risk uh, Russell. I don't think at this stage. Russell appears to have been benched for the rest of the day. McCown will come in to play quarterback. Hopefully that doesn't drop his morale or anything. He's got to know that I'm just pulling him, so we don't risk any injury here in the uh, back after this little after. Oh come on, McCown! <laughs> Couldn't get the ball into the Jordan's hands quick enough. Yeah, it's nice to see the backup quarterback. And the backup running back, <laughs> even if he was our starter to be in the year. Definitely uh, did not impress enough in the first few games. And Rhodes played incredibly well, I would say. Yeah, we could uh, we could go for like some passing or something, but we're just gonna we're, we'll hand the ball off one more time. We'll uh, we'll punt the ball out of here, and you know we'll get out of here with a victory. They, they can drive down if they want. They're playing a quarter defense. There's a dime. That was quarter. Interesting play call. Oh, Bush says get off me. <laughs> it's fourth and three. I, I mean, we could go for it, but I don't really think there's any reason to. We're just going to kick the ball away. Two-minute warning here. 
when you're playing with a lead. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? I think we've had a successful fake. There's every time to do it. Got to get practice in. It's right now. It's a fake. Oh, heck, Juba. Oh, couldn't hold on. Figure, figure. I might as well try it. I, I like to look. He just could have hold on to the ball. Decent, decent little toss. By the by, Shane Luckley. It's grabbed by Matt Jones. Huge bust. I think he was like a number four overall pick or something. Obviously, he never did anything. Oh, another big hit by Huff. That wasn't even a hit stick. That was just a regular tackle. He's taking it upon himself to lay down the punishment. Yeah, he couldn't hold on to that one. Just gonna sit back in a soft cover three. The Raiders come out in a dime pack. Hey, there you go, Howard. Got him on my nickel, some of my or my four down nickel and my dime package as my edge rusher. You got Burgess on the inside. It works pretty well. All right, yeah. Uh, I think that was awesome. Also, good play, good play, awesome. I think they'd call timeouts, but I might as well just have Rhodes and Jordan. Um, you know, get, get a few more rushing yards. Oh, look at the busted loose for a first down. Let's go, Lamont and Jordan. Yeah, they're, they're not calling timeouts. So we'll just run one more play. We'll get out of here with a victory. Again, uh, you got to say this was the best game of the season for us in all facets. You know, we played well on offense, defense, special teams. Uh, pretty much everywhere you look. Uh, definitely also Russell's best game. Especially important against a tough defense like the Jags. Even if their specialty is stopping the run, you know. Or playing a good rush defense, that's when you got to have your best game through the air. Ooh, excuse me, I have the hiccups a little bit. So after this game, we'll take a look at some Pro Bowl votes. Just to see who is a uh, penalty. <laughs> Dead ball. Delay of game. On the offense. Number 12, still first down. Oops, I'm just the ball down. Uh, I'll take a look at uh, some of the Pro Bowl votes, see who's on our team. I know I was going through the depth chart earlier. I'll also change the depth chart. I, I know I'm going to forget it uh, after this game, so might as well do it while we're here. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at uh, what's going on, who's making it, see our stat leaders, see who is... Uh, Going to be playing in Hawaii. Might might play the Pro Bowl. I don't really know. I haven't decided yet. If I make the Super Bowl, I probably won't. If I don't make the Super Bowl, I probably will. Um, we also got the College All Star Game coming up in the off season. I'm definitely playing that. I haven't really played that before. That's uh, or at least at least in a while. Uh, many a great things to look forward to. Draft and all that good stuff. Free agency. Not exactly sure how I'll structure that yet. So I want to get the college officer game live before the rest of the offseason. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, so there we see, you know, we absolutely dominated them today. Um, outgained them 360 to 236, 17 first downs to nine first downs. They only converted one third down all day. We converted half of ours and a, and a fourth down. Uh, again, like I said, Russell, easily the best game of his uh, season, uh, 21 for 31. I know at least two throwaways, so, you know, even uh, like 21 for 29. Three touchdowns, almost 300 yards. Didn't really get much going on the ground, but, again, kind of what we expected to um at the beginning of this game, just because of their, you know, super strong interior line. Yeah, man, four touchdowns. Oof. Yeah, 150. Yeah, what's perfect? Is it 150, 151.3, 154.3? So nearly a perfect game, I would say. You know, 70%, um, 10 yards uh, on average. Just, just fantastic all around. I don't know. Uh, there must have been sacks that they taken away from. Yeah, sacks. Because in the in the game, uh, in the game stats that said we had less than 300 yards, but obviously sacks take away from that in the NFL. So 
Michael Bush definitely was a lot better than Dominic Rose was in the first half. It's interesting. We'll have to see what uh, what we got going on uh, once we're in the playoffs. It's uh, still to to be seen. Zach Miller, best receiver, maybe. Mike Williams had a couple big big plays as well, <clears throat> using his big body to uh, make some plays, run those corner rounds. It's a favorite of mine. <laughs> Let's see, Reggie Hayward got two sacks. I'm not too concerned. We had uh, good pressure all day. Uh, and good pass defense as well. Kirk Morrison, again, got that first first half uh, interception. Michael Huff, four big hits. Darnell Bing, I think that was on uh, special teams, if I remember correctly. We had two forced fumbles, I think. Yeah, Derek Burgess had one, and Michael Huff had one. So I think that was the same in the first half. Can't remember exactly. Didn't have a great kick return day, I guess. They, they Probably, if you had to pick one place that they outplayed us, it might be in kick returns, but I, I wouldn't really say that, so... Go ahead and sim out the week. Yeah, the, the Patriots actually lost pretty poorly. So that uh, basically wraps up. Well, I mean, we're obviously the number one seed. Uh, so while I'm here, before I forget, oops. put in uh, Rhodes is the number one and Bush is the number two. Third down back, we want Bush in there. There's a little bit of housekeeping. Before I forget in the next game, because, again, I know I will. <laughs> Even though I shouldn't, I know I will. Higgins there. It is uh, not Zach exactly. Miller. No, it looks like there, buddy. And is my cornerback set properly? Indeed it is. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, real quick, we'll just take a look at the Pro Bowlers um, to see who's going to make it. I don't know if it changes after Week 17 in this uh, in this game. I know some versions of EA games it doesn't. Like NFL head coach, I think it's set after Week 16. So uh, after after next week, we'll also do a season recap video. You know, There's a short one showing Pro Bowler stats and all that good stuff. But um, where do you see? Is it League News that you see Pro Bowlers? Yes, Pro Bowl team. So. It looks like uh, Russell is in contention. He's, uh, you know, definitely turned it around or turned it on, I, I would say, since the back half of the year. Um, I think he was at, like, 20 and 12 or something like that, passing touchdowns and interceptions. Since we've made that playbook switch, he is really on fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. No surprise we don't have any running backs. I mean, again, I, I think I mentioned this early on, but the running backs in this game get absolutely ridiculous stats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, Larry Johnson's almost at 2,000. Will McGay, he's at 2,000. Nobody for receivers, that's fine. Did say that Zach Miller was in there for tight ends, but I don't see him. No O-lines, no O-line. Not, not surprising either. Not the best O-line, of course. Warren Sapp in there. He's playing pretty well for a, a wily old better. Nine sacks at, a, at the D-tackle position. That's, that's pretty good. And got Asuma. Again, they gave it to Washington. He does not deserve to be a Pro Bowler. That's for sure. I mean, he's, it's because of the tackles and past elections. But, again, he, he allowed, like, 70-something catches this year, which is horrid. You know, every time you have a corner, that's almost 80 tackles. That's, that's not what you want to see uh, in the type of scheme that I run, which is pred predominantly man. You know, if you got his own, you know, coverage-type team, it, you'll see the corners with a lot more tackles. Um Schweigert also there. He's played well. I don't know if he's really, you know, Pro Bowl caliber, but I haven't had any complaints. Michael Huff, obviously. 100 tackles, 16 deflections, 3 force fumbles, 10 turnovers. And he's one of the defenders of the year, so. And then Higgins there, and Janikowski. So, uh, again, next episode, we've got Week 17 versus the Chargers in a rematch of Jamarcus Russell's first fourth quarter comeback victory of his career. Um, I don't think they're fighting for a playoff spot. We'll take a look here, just just real quick. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I guess they are fighting for a playoff spot. How about that? Holy cow. Oh, never mind. I was looking at the wrong page. That was the NFL. Uh, one, two, three, four. So how many teams make it? I think six teams make it. No, eight teams make it, right? Is that right? We got four teams that get a buy, eight teams. Is that right? I can't do the math in my head. Who knows? Whatever. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. 
Well, let's see. You got three division winners, three wild card teams. So 12 teams. Okay, I, I'm going crazy. I don't know why. So six teams from each division make it to the playoffs. Yeah, that's. I don't. I don't know why I can't think of that in my head. Um. So, Chargers. You know, if they drop this next game, they could potentially miss the playoffs. Uh, I don't really know. But that is for the next episode. Until then, if you guys enjoyed this one, I know I did. Easily the best game of the season again for us. Uh, We're going to try to wrap it up next week with a solid win. We got the Monday night game on December 31st. So, you know, whether or not we play our our, uh, starters, uh, you know, I'd I'd like to play spoiler if the Chargers are still in contention. But, you know, depending on the results of the early games, they may or may not be there. So... Um, If you enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content. Again, we've got week 17, we've got the playoffs, we got the offseason, and then we got the start of a new season. So that'll be coming up pretty soon. Until then, we will see you all in the next video. See you.